Attenborough, 1828. The greatest minds came from all over the world. And so did these guys. We've got no money to speak of. No plan. We just have to work out what the demand is for, and then supply it. Within every cloud, there's a silver lining. We're flat out broke. What about old Donald's rent money? <laughs> He's dead. Get rid of the body before it starts to stink up the place more than you two. We used to sell to Dr. Knox at three pounds a cadaver. Three pounds. And I thought life around here was supposed to be cheap. This is wrong. I am confident that this is the only way. I had confidence in a fart once, and I shot all over myself. I commend you both on account of his freshness. I'll give you three pounds. I'll pay you the same for any more you can deliver. What do you do for a living? In surgical supplies. You do? I became a dancer, and times got tough, and I branched out into physical theatre. Yeah, like acrobatics. Sometimes. I need to make more money. Fast. I care about women, right? A fine one costs an arm and a leg. Have you gone mad? No, Willie. We've gone into business. Showtime! <laughs> Is she dead? Yeah, she snuffed it. I certainly hope so. It's got everything. Sex. <laughs> Murder. Are you all right? We're talking about the ultimate crowd pleaser. The militia. They're closing in. <laughs> all right, wait. Show me your wings. I think you got a perfectly lovely arse. Evening, Mrs. McPhee. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure tonight's the night. I know this amazing trick you can do with your tongue. Thank you, William. I am Captain McClintock, and this is the Edinburgh Militia. Oh, for the love of Lord Jesus! I beg your pardon. Burke and Hare. What about his uh, posture, sir? Threaten him out. <laughs>